Done. Call me. I'm Issa Dorian. If you don't know me, I'm a Chilean artist. I recently... I didn't have the idea because there's millions of artists who do this. I wanted to start a YouTube, so this is my basically introduction to you. This week I made a shout out. So my idea was to take around five commissions. The point was them to be like tiny. One of them was huge. Well, anyways, it's a pretty day, dude. Yes, it is. This is the biggest portrait drawing that I have had to do so far. I have done in the past huge drawings but not a portrait for a client where I have to do it as real or as similar as possible. So when I start, I first place the general dimensions like the distance between the hair, forehead, eyebrows, ears, eyes, nose, mouth and chin. I always ask the clients to send me several pictures of the pet or person that I'm drawing or painting because that way I feel as I can sense their personality. So after placing the main features, I start adding some details and generally start with the eyes because it gets a glimpse of expressiveness and then I start shading to make the general volumes around the cheek, nose and eyes. In the picture, the person wasn't smiling upwards, her lips were going a little bit downwards, so I decided to take a picture of my father to analyze his smile and apply that to her face. Because in each expression, the face changes. For example, her nose goes a bit wider or cheeks lift a little bit, and even the wrinkles change their position. I was taught to only use one pencil, but you know what, screw that. I believe in freedom and that you can do whatever you want. The most important thing is to feel comfortable as you're working. So I've used a range of HB to AB mostly because I don't like to press hard on the pencil because if you do, you're going to get some blurring from it. And also if you press too hard on the paper and later want to erase it, it's going to be difficult to do so and maybe it's going to leave a mark. Even as I use several pencils, I don't use an HB on top of an HB. It's very important to know where the shadows and lights will go and work gradually. One issue that I've been having as I'm drawing is maybe moving the graphite that I've been applying, which is why I place this gigantic piece of paper to protect the parts that I'm not working on. The most important thing for me is that for shading, I do lines and lines, which means that my drawings are a hell of a lot of lines. And they are all in different directions depending on which part of your face you're going to shade. I later realized that this way I could also focus on one part of the drawing and if I divided the face in three parts, I would progress way faster. There are two things that I respect a lot in drawing. and One of them I have already said, I just said I work with lines on lines. And the second one is that I will never, never smudge with my fingers because personally I don't like the effect because it changes the pH of the paper and I work with a basic free sheet so I avoid touching it with my hands as much as I can. Instead of that, I use two tools, hard paper shaped like a pencil and a brush to clean or blend.
2,000 years later. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you know every time I upload a video and thanks for watching.